Okay, the next fly to show you is a dark mackerel. Very good sewing fly, very good for salmon. It's uh, good in South Wales area and in Mid Wales. It's used on the Dovey and the Mouthach, and it's used in some of the rivers in the north of England. I The variation I'm going to put on it is the um, it is going to have a hair wing. Uh, I'm actually going to use um, a mink wing. Okay, now I have waxed the silk, so I'm just going to start the fly now. I'm using a size 6 salmon hook, salmon style hook, which has got the folded back eye, and I take my silk down towards the bend, ready to tie in the tail. About there, the tail is from the tippet feather. It's a crest, well, not the crest, the, um, <coughs> it's really a little cape of the golden pheasant. The crest is the yellow feather, which is comes over this from the head. Another beautiful feather. Very attractive feather, this. It's orange with the black bars. Um, useful, very useful, and used a lot in salmon and sea trout flies. Now, I tear one out. I've got one here, which I've been using. So we tear it out, and I'm going to cut off the, the fibres for the tail. I want you to notice it's dull one side, and much brighter the other side. I'm going to aim, it's not always easy, to get the bright side showing. And another thing to tell you about this feather, most feathers we draw down to get the tips level, but with this feather we don't, because the tips are almost level anyway. So we just cut out a good section like this. You can see how I've done that. Okay. Now, I said there were two sides, so I'm going to try to fold it so I've got the nice bright side showing. Not too important. It comes about there. Yeah, that's about right. So I tie this on top. Like that. Now I'm going to tie in the rib. And the rib is the French Uni Oval, medium, it's an oval braid as opposed to a flat silver. I think this makes a nice rib on this fly. So I just cut a bit off and I will tie this in also. Tie it in nice and firm, but it's got a, I'll go up and back down. It's got a grip on it, so it, it won't pull out. It's got a nice grip. I've tied it in on the side like that and I'll take my silk back down towards the bend of, of the hook. Now this fly has got a palmered hackle. When we say palmer, the hackle is wound the full length of the body um, as opposed to a collar hackle which is on a dry fly usually. It's on wet flies as well and there's a beard hackle. This is going to have both a beard hackle and a palmered hackle. Now I, I tie it in by the tip and you can see I've trimmed this stalk to give a bit of grip. Now most people when they tie in a palmered hackle they tie it at the head, take it down over the body, trap it with the rib and wind the rib back through it up. Now uh, if you want to do it that way you can. I suggest you use wire for the rib instead of this braid because the braid is quite thick it shows up nice but it it will trap down some of the fibers which uh, I don't like to see so I tie it in like this Let me make sure I got it the right way it goes over like that yeah that's it just checking that small point so that goes in there I'll draw the fibres back so that I don't get any trap down and I'll tie this in. Now the body on this fly is a very attractive body. You notice I'm tying down these little stalks because I'm going to slide a tube down it and the tube, the these stalks will hold up the tube. Okay, now then 
the body, the tube. It's a tube of this very attractive mylar. It comes in silver, it comes in gold. The recommended one for this fly is this red. So what we do, we measure up roughly where we want it. It's about there. So I cut off this piece. Excuse me being out of camera. And I slide it down like that. It gets to there. Now I'm going to use my silk to secure it. Hope you can see what I'm attempting to do here. This goes on quite a few nice wraps to secure the body at the back end. I'll be doing the same at the front shortly. Now while it's like that, I put on a whip finish and I remove my silk. So nice biggish loop and I put on about four, one, two, three, four, like that, draw it up, and I now remove the silk. Before I start at the head, I put some varnish on, just to protect this silk. It's been well waxed. So it doesn't matter too much, but this belt embraces and the fly will last that much longer. Now I go back to my silk, I wax it again, and I start the silk back at the head. Like this. You can see what I'm doing. And I wind things down. Like that. Now I'm going to run the rib up through because this is the next item to go on and when I run the palmer hackle up I tuck it down alongside this rib which protects the stalk. Now the palmer hackle is a good quality hackle with a nice strong stalk and when it's tucked down beside this rib like this behind it, it um, it's pretty well protected. Okay, you can see this makes an attractive body. Very good night time fly. Right, now I'm going to run up this hackle. And the hackle, I'm trying now to get the stalk to follow the rib. Like this. This is what we call palmer in the hackle. Like that. any fibers trapped a little brush like that will bring them out okay that's the palm and hackle I'm going to cut it off and make it more secure okay I've got a few fibers here which I'll just nip off not that it matters too much 
Okay. Now that's the body hackle, but I'm still going to put on a throat hackle, or some people call it a beard hackle. And I'm going to use this red, it's a pair of red hackles, cock hackles here, which I'm going to use. I got a pair together, which I tear off because two of them will give me a, a, a bit more of a hackle. But you can always go back and put some more on. And the hackle will be underneath like that. It doesn't need to be a heavy hackle. Nip off the surplus. Like that. I think I'll put a little more. Draw it down. Get the tips lined up. Tear it off, ready to put back on, put some more on. This adds a bit of flash to the fly, a bit of colour, which uh, I like, especially on a nighttime sea trout fly. Red has some attraction for the um, sea trout. As they say, like Spanish fighting bulls. Okay, now we've got that far. I'm going to put on the hair wing that I mentioned earlier. And the hair wing is um, from a stoat. Stoat wing. It's brownish, a very dark brown. And we don't want too much of this. It mustn't be too heavy. Because it, it, it'll work better in the, mo in the water. As long as it's not too solid. We don't want a solid wing. Okay, I've cut a bit off. I'll just look at it. Before I tie it in, I t remove this under fur. Can you see that coming out? That's got to be taken out because it doesn't do any good. And it just gives us a bulky head to the fly. This fly has a bit of a large head anyway. Okay, we want it about level with the tail. Don't need to be too particular and we tie it on. Now as I've said before hair is slippery so just be careful when you tie it in. Your first few winds put in carefully and um, not too tight because it can cause the wing to flare and the same when cutting off the surplus. Go gently with it. Okay, now before I go any further, I'm going to put some varnish on the roots of the hair wing, ready to tie it down and secure it. And that'll make the fly more durable. Because of all the material, this fly tends to have a, a biggish head, but that doesn't uh, affect its efficiency. Okay, we're there. I'm pretty sure that's okay. I'll just finish off with my usual whip finish. I cross over, secure this one loop, and I wind forward towards the eye three four five times something like that and I draw it up now this fly the true tie-in has a red head so I'm going to put on some red nail varnish okay I'm just going to have a quick look my side I can see there's a bit of red hackle show in there that'll be lost with the red nail varnish <coughs> ordinary red nail varnish give it a shake you can see the one i showed you earlier has a red head is that coming out okay so that's what i'm going to do the red head nail varnish carefully Take 
tapered the brush earlier may give it a bit more another coat in later we'll see how it looks when I come back to it okay that's it that's a completed fly I am pretty sure the uh, eye is clear but I will double check rather than find out when I'm down the river in the dark <coughs> trying to get my leader through Okay, I, I hope you picked up a few tips with our fly. It is a fly I can recommend, very good for sewing. And um, I, I, I took my largest sea trout on this fly. And it is a very good fly, and I hope you picked up a few tips watching that. Thank you very much.